Hi everybody, this is Bob from Buckeye Sports Center. Really excited to take a look at the new 2021 Trophy Series. This is the T20CC. Let's take a look at her. Trophy, we're really excited about to bring the Trophy back. Trophy is a really iconic brand name in the marine industry. And uh, now they're back and, and better than ever for 2021. So a couple things with Trophy that, that I want to point out on the outside of the hull before we move inside. Um, you know, they're very, very deep hulls, very, very comfortable riding. This is a 20-foot boat, but you can see even standing next to here on the trailer how deep it is. This is a, this is a legitimate boat that can be used in a little bit rougher water, um, you know, giving a really good ride. As you move down to the hull area, you can see that there's a very, very deep V in the bow, and there's multiple, probably like four strikes on each side to keep the boat stable side to side, but just a very, very deep, comfortable riding boat without breaking the bank. That's the other key thing with Trophy is that you're not gonna be paying top crazy money for these boats compared to what other else is out there. Trophy's always been a brand that's had impeccable value. Um, however, you'll see, as you see as we walk inside the boat, they didn't you know, skimp on things. It's still a very, very great boat and a good value overall. Okay, as we move inside the Trophy 20, um, this is the Trophy 20 CC. Now the difference between the CC model and the CX model is the transom area. So on the CC model, we actually have more of a fishing deck style area set up back here where you've got a really big fishing platform that you can cast off of or you know walk onto and it's basically a full fishing area however you do have some versatility with this in that if you're running around with a family you've got two seats to pop up you know very easily very conveniently you know to, to you know kind of turn this into a family rear end as well so the other model the cx model is basically very similar except it's going to have a fixed bench seat back in this area and then a walk through to the transom so it's more of a family style back end where it's a little bit harder to fish out of this one's a little bit more versatile and that you can fish off the back end or kind of have a family use off the back end so another difference between the cc and the cx is that the cc comes standard with two live wells both of them are actually conveniently located here at the transom area of the boat so this one here you know some people might use one of them for bait um, but there's one back here and then also one built into the helm. All right, so both of those are actually live wells or bait wells or whatever you may call them. Or you can use one of them as a cooler, whatever you want to do, there's some versatility there. As we move into the console area, and this is another theme that I want to kind of talk about, you know, because, you know, there might be other boats out there and, you know, they, they look at the consoles, they look at the helms. You know, one of the things I really like about this trophy is that it's beefy. All this, all this material, this helm material, it's really, really beefy, heavy duty. The, the tower that's on the boat, you know, is really, really, you know, top notch, really high quality. Um, you know, you don't feel like, the, you don't get in this boat and feel like, well, that's kind of a chintzy piece or kind of a chintzy tower or something like that that you might find in other, you know, less expensive boats. Everything here feels really, really durable, really heavy duty, really, really high end, even though you're looking at a, you know, more of a value price point. You know, rod holders are built into the top. Again, they feel very heavy duty, great mounts on them you know, good canvas material, all this really feels, you know, quite frankly, it feels like a $100,000 boat when you, when you get into this, this little segment of the boat. It feels really way more, you know, expensive than it really is um, as far as the feel of the boat. On the console area, um, really great kind of setup here. There's different options to get different digital dash screens on it. When you look at our video on the Trophy 22, that'll have the digital dash. This 20 footer, we kind of got the traditional setup, try to keep the cost down as best we can, uh, but there is options for you know more digital dashes and different things like that. So um, there's definitely a plenty of enough space to mount an in-dash graph for a fish finder here, you know, selection of your choice. Uh, but all your instrumentation, this one has a stereo unit, you know, USB plug-in, all your gauges, trim, fuel, everything you need is right there. You know, really easy you know, to use helm area where you actually have two foot positionings, you know, a higher foot position, as well as a lower one, depending on how you want to sit. So there's so definitely some versatility there. And then there's also plenty of space for, you know, two to maybe even three people sitting in this uh, helm area, just a nice wide, comfortable seat, um, you know, to give you a little bit of versatility in how you use the boat there. So as we get into, again, protection, you know, for the, for the driver and the people, you know, nice, you know, again, a burly windshield. This is, you know, nice stainless steel, heavy duty windshield arms on, on the windshield of this boat. Again, we talked about the burly tower. There's grab handles here. The other cool thing I like about this, which is different than a lot of, you know, T-tops that we've seen from other brands, is you can actually just 
unscrew the sum screw and actually fold the entire mechanism of the tower forward. So if you did need to get it into a garage area, you can do it without tools. So you can actually fold this whole mechanism forward kind of into the bow area if you needed to get it into a, a garage that, you know, without having to take apart tools and, you know, take the whole boat apart. Um, it's actually a quick, easy thing, which is really, really unique for this type of price point boat to have that. So again, another cool feature that Trophy is including. Um, another thing on the helm area is you have this huge storage compartment um, underneath the helm. You could put a porta potty in there or something, you know, but essentially just a huge, huge storage area. Um, but there's definitely plenty enough space to put a head unit, um, you know, a toilet, whatever you want to do if you need to down there, or just use it as storage. Okay, as we move into the bow of the Trophy 20, um, you see a lot of versatility again available in this bow area. So where right now we have the optional filler cushions and the optional, you know, cushion here. Um, all filled in. So, so this is kind of a, a setup where if you have the family out, you want to sit more people, this would kind of be the setup you might have. Um, at the very least, you can maybe take this cushion or this piece out completely. If you wanted to have somebody sit here, you know, you can do that. There's also storage underneath this compartment as well as underneath all three bow areas. So again, creating a lot of versatility. And even in a 20 foot boat, as I sit on this side, with these removable um, backrests, you know, I can sit as a six, you know, over six feet tall, you know, even in a 20 foot boat, I've got a nice comfortable seating position, you know, for myself. So the nice thing about this bow is that you can easily sit three people comfortably, you know, facing forward. Um, you think about it on the helm, you can get at least two. And then with the two jump seats in the back, you can get another two more. So you could really have three, four, five, six, seven people at least really comfortably seated in this boat. So again, as we talk about versatility in this Trophy 20, um, you know, great for family use, great for fishing use. We do have the, the ski tow bar that's included as an option on this boat. Um, the other thing is the power. So you've got the Mercury 150 horsepower four stroke engine is the, the engine option that we put on this boat. And I think that's where most people are gonna be on the 20 footer. It is rated for 200 horse. You can opt for the 200 horse, but the 150 is gonna, you know, give you great overall performance for either fishing or family for what most people have. You know, other little things in the boat like you know, the side, both sides have rod storage capability, you know, to store your rod out of the way, kind of in a recessed area, so you're not gonna walk or stumble into them. And again, kind of just the general heavy duty, you know, you know, stainless steel pieces, rods, and different things you see around the boat that uh, you don't normally will see on a more value price point. So again, you know, this trophy really gives you a ton of value in a 20 foot platform, a really roomy 20 foot boat. You know, again, rated for eight people, but easily get seven on here without a problem. A great, you know, again, great fishing, great family. Um, you know, thanks for checking this 20 foot trophy out from us at Buckeye Sports Center. For more information, visit our website at BuckeyeSportsCenter.com. Thanks for watching.